Welcome in the next part of the lecture Finite Element Methods Today we have tutorials uh, Finite Element Elements Method with application of a cubic splines Let us consider the following boundary value problem minus second derivative of u plus sigma u equals f with the boundary conditions u at a equals u a u at b equals u b in the interval x from a to b where sigma and f are given continuous functions this is the standard uh, pro uh, problem boundary value problem uh, to uh, clarify the idea of the finite element method when cubic splines are uh, applied. We find the approximate solution in the form of the linear combination of cubic splines, of B splines, un of x well, equals a0 b0 of x plus a1 b1 of x up to plus uh, a n b n of x where the coordinates, the ritz galerkin coordinates, b coordinates satisfy the homogeneous boundary value conditions b i at a equals b i at b equals zero to zero for all i from zero to n so we have n plus one uh, coordinates when non-homogeneous boundary value conditions are present the transformation of the unknown u uh, is uh, considered namely we put u of x equals new unknown v of x plus the linear function u at b minus u at a divided by the b minus a times x mi uh, minus a plus u of a uh, this, e, e, this uh, uh, transformation of the unknown u to the unknown v leads us to the homogeneous boundary conditions for the uh, new function, new unknown v indeed if x equals a, a then we have u of a equals v of a this will be 0 and plus u of a if we transform a, uh, u of a on the other side we remain with v of at a is 0 the same if x equals to b then we have u at b equals v at b and this time we simplify b minus a so we remain with uh, u at b minus u at a plus u at a then we remain with v at b plus u at b then the term u at b take, we take on left and we remain uh, with the value v at b equals to zero the following mathematical module uh, solves the above boundary value problem either with non-homogeneous or non-homogeneous boundary value conditions that the name of the problem uh, module is cubic finite uh, uh, cubic uh, elements method tutorials so it, this is uh, the program with the module is designed for the above boundary value problem of course it could be improved but uh, this is uh, this model we apply to illustrate the the method so let us go for the example let us consider the following boundary value problem of the above form that standard form minus second derivative u plus 2u equals sine pi x so in this case sigma is 2 and the right hand side is sine pi x the homogeneous boundary conditions in the interval 0 1 in order to obtain the approximate solution we enter data and call the module by execution of the following commands 
So of course we have to define the right hand side which is signed by X. In the case we know also the theoretical solution so we will be able to compare theoretical solution with the exact one. Sigma is 2 and we take uh, 10 points in the interval of 0, 1 and homogeneous boundary value condition and step size is here of course. So we call the module and uh, we, we get the result. So let us activate the, the module to, to have it in the memory in RAM. Yeah, we have uh, the module in the memory and now we execute the, uh, the commands to get the results uh, through the uh, entry data. We wait a second to have the results. Yes, good, we have X, we have, yeah, we have X argument every 0 0.1 step is the approximate solution, the, the exact one and the error. In fact, we see that it is exact, this solution has a, a zero error. It is true because it confirms that the um, um, finite elements methods in the partition of the interval are, are the same as cubic spline interpolating polynomial. So that means that it should be the same by by the algorithm. So that, that uh, results confirm that we uh, solve really the problem. If we wish to, to see the error, we have to tabulate uh, with a smaller step size or we, we shall see it on the graph. Good. Let us see on the graph. So that is the error again, this error, but at the, at the nodes, so that is a small, the absolute value it, it is to confirm that it is almost zero, it is almost zero, as we see 10 to minus 6, so the relative error of course the same, very small, very fraction of the percent, and uh, we, 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 we have the graph of the exact solution, yeah, this is the exact solution, of course, and we have the graph of the numerical solution. Okay, so the shape we see the same. We can see it on the on the same system of coordinates. So that that two that two um, solutions approximate and the exact one are, are, are of the, almost almost the same. Yeah. That's it. That means that the algorithm is an uh, efficient one. Now let us go to the next example, example 2, when the non-homogeneous boundary value conditions. The equation is the same, uh, sigma is the same, right hand side is here, minus 6 plus 2 uh, x cubed, and uh, u at 1 equals 1. So that is non-homogeneous boundary conditions, then the transformation will be present. So to obtain the solution, again we enter the data, right hand side, exact solutions is x cubed in the case also. So we have the same um, parameters, so we execute that commands to get the results. We wait a second to have the table, and again the same, we confirm that the, um, the uh, uh, numerical solution is the same as the uh, exact one. This is because we have uh, tabulation at the interpolating cubic uh, nodes are the same as the as the uh, partition of the interval zero one uh, one. So uh, that that is by the algorithm it must should be the same and it is the confirmation. So we can uh, have uh, the the numerical value of the absolute value numerical value of the relative value and then we will draw the graph okay we have the graph this is the exact solution this is the numerical one it's the same as we see the shape and 
we see on the same system of coordinates both graphs are the, the same so that is means that the, uh, the method is efficient of course uh, this uh, is about the very very standard uh, simple example in one variable but the idea of the method uh, with application of cubic splines can be uh, extent and it is extent in, in many publications in literary, literature thank you